everything, just not everything. It's not everything is about me. I'm pretty sure our next fundraiser should be for a, a general gentleman kebab store where we just 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 hire one of the guys from a kebab shop to just come and cook us kebabs at like any hour. I like even if we're casting at 3 a.m. in the morning, like this guy comes and cooks us kebabs. I can really go for a kebab right yeah. now. Uh, all we have to do is uh, drive to Northbridge. That's only uh, so it's about a 40, 40, 50 minute drive. When are they here open to? Then, uh, I don't know. Late. <laughs> so it's one a.m. Late. They would be open late. Yeah. Oh, on what? What is it? Saturday? Yeah, I suppose they would. Maybe, maybe. But the kebabs not. in Northbridge are really bad, though. Have you had one? Yeah, not great. They're, they're yeah. terrible. Yeah. They're they're the worst. Broccoli, strange positioning here. I don't know if that actually affects it or not. Oh, he's walling. That's what he's doing. He wants to wall in his uh his supply. Pretty clever, actually, because he is in a GLA mirror. So, the technical crushes are, are definitely a threat. Yeah, this is a good play, actually. He's well set up uh, for defense. What? Hard to find a good what wall you, off. What are you doing, worker? What is, what is he doing? Bro. He's building the supply. Isn't it obvious? Oh, sorry. I, I changed scene. Yeah. I have my num key. Mm. In, uh, I'm going to have to do that again. Yeah, I have my uh, my num keys, which are bound to change scene. Right. The, the numpad keys are also rotate camera. Why don't you use your F keys like a boss, bro? Like... F keys is like... Bookmarks. Oh, right, so okay. Oh, in. yeah, I forgot they matter in Zero Hour. Yeah, yeah right. Well, so I, I just... Because normally it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't normally use numpad. I, I could change it to the F keys. It'd be, be better. Something that you actually do see uh, players use sometimes in Zero Hour, because you're playing without radar, you you, you kind of... You, you bind a bookmark in, like, your opponent's base, the supply here, and then you can just... You can rapidly tap between the cameras. Something quite nice, actually. A uh, nice little feature. I don't use it personally, but I can see why you would if you're playing without radar, especially. Yeah, I tried it for a little while while I was we were at, we we're at the stage where we we're trying to play without radar, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to get used to. It's very different. Yeah, and and the problem with that is if Zero Hour is the only game you're ever playing, then sure, but it's like you you want to have skills that transfers between different RTS games. Nice crushes here, Talisman, finding a way through the imprompt defenses. Okay, technically gonna be passing each other. No attempt at a wall off here for Talisman. I wanna get a, a demo trap down or something. Or, oh, or, or even that tunnel may have been on this may yeah. should be on the side there. Thanks for follows guys. Finds a triple crush as well, it's gonna be nice. Onto the supply. Technical's still here and look more crushes. Crushes galore. Yeah, this has been really... I mean, this is actually really hard to wall off, but this one, you know, at least having something facing your opponent, maybe even the arms dealer should have been facing north, uh, makes it much easier to to lose those workers, or rather much easier to, to defend so, the workers. Yeah, certainly. So we actually have some rebels. I don't see any capture upgrade, but it may be coming up any moment now. Having that garage is very nice, especially... With GLA, when you have units that have really low health, so their repairs are quite fast relative. See some more workers going down here as well, machine. Even more crushes. And uh, Broccoli, it, it was so unfortunate, it's just that he, he clearly made the attempt to get the wall off, it's just he, uh... It's just not gonna happen. What are, what GLAs were they? It's not his day. Demo, uh, so Demo you, and, uh, yeah, regular. She's building, um, demo traps down. Yeah. Um, they are a little bit more expensive when 1.6. I think they're, they're 300 up from 200, but it still uh, can make a massive swing. When you take out a, a technical and you keep all your workers alive, more workers being crushed here. Yeah. An RPG getting off, dropped off to harass the oil. Talisman clearing up the remaining technicals inside his own base. So, Broccoli has his oil. Talisman has the arty platform and the, the garage. Not the one on the right side, not the south either. Strange he didn't get his own oil. Yeah, well, at least not yet. And uh, Rebel from Broccoli will be capping the right-hand side oil as well here. It's going to be started up. Only technical so far. No no one's dead build yeah. a quad <laughs> or, or a scorpion. Maybe they made a secret pact. Technicals only. Which we don't hate. I mean, it can certainly can work. The, the same pact that every GLA player seems to make. 
Talisman indecisive. Didn't focus down the, the radar van. Must be like the Terran bro code. Yeah. When will people learn? I love this demo car nonsense. You, you, you can imagine losing the demo car. You, you kind of you, you, you uh, rally put it into your opponent's base and then you look and it should be there and it's not there. It's like, oh, I must have lost it. It's like, no, no, he's, he's getting there. Let's, just, let's follow this, this, this demo car. <laughs> I could write a musical about this demo car, man. I should probably check this though. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm sorry. Go back to oh, the demo. Oh, see? See, see what happens. It. You see what happens, machine. This is why we can't have nice things. All right. Okay, the sequel. Round the two. <laughs> Fight. He's going to make it. He's going to make it, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was awful. Se se no, sequels are fantastic. This is why we need sequels. Uh, the happy ending isn't in the first one. The happy ending is in the uh, the second movie. All right. But I feel like a movie... Is, is like a, a demo car. It, it should be self-contained. It, it should be self-sufficient. It shouldn't have to rely on something else to Bro. give it the full experience. I didn't say it was going to be a good movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what the new Deus Ex yeah. game was like. It was it was really reliant on its sequel and its, its prequel. Like it didn't really, nothing really happened in the game. It just kind of, it set up the next game. It was really lackluster. Uh, I, I hate it when games do that, when they, they don't try to to tell a story that only requires the single game to be played. But when it's basically just a whole, yeah, find out what happens in the next game. It's like, come on, yeah. man. I need something better than that. I haven't, are you going to do a review on it? I, uh... um, I, I was going to originally, but because of the whole trip thing, I haven't really uh, had the time for it. And normally it wouldn't matter, but because it's like a, it's a game cloud key from the site I review for, it means that it actually was a deadline. It had to be reviewed by X, X date. Because it was like a, a part of the, right, the agreement yeah. to getting the key. So, no, uh, someone else did the review for it. Where we're normally, when I do a review, it's just I do it for myself, like on the channel. But since this was the game cloud, there was a bit more um, expectations, I suppose. So, that's the arms dealer cell. And it spells trouble for Broccoli. It's going to stop this quad production. It doesn't really have an army that can engage these quads. Uh, better work harass coming out from uh, Talisman could spell the end of this series for the GLA mirror. Yeah, Talisman's ahead, isn't he? Raider van is, goes yeah. down. Game is uh, not that interesting. <laughs> There's no scorpions. Yeah, man. not a lot going. Yeah, where are the where are the scorpions? It's just just quad RPG. I think but quad RPG. Still, broccoli's in out. He's rebuilding his arm cell as only broccoli can do. It's it's basically a GLA stealth mirror without stealth units. That's what we're witnessing right now. Talisman having the superior army. Does he have double arms dealer though? I see one. And that's it. So. Only has the one. Doesn't actually have his uh, oil. Maybe he can deny it here by, by Broccoli. He's had his own oil the entire time. And actually a third supply. And a fourth supply. His yeah. own oil on the side. Maybe that should have been production. but Broccoli, yeah. Maybe floating up resources once he gets uh, all that economy up and running. Since he doesn't actually have an arms dealer. But selling off his supply in the base. Losing his back oil. So this game is definitely still happening. But... Talisman's army is pretty large. Yeah. Workers are going to be evac as well here. A couple of them getting out. Not all of them getting inside of the tunnel network. And uh, Talisman clearly knowing where Broccoli's base lies. Should we see Scorpion? I saw the first one, Machine. There is at least one Scorpion uh, inside the tunnel network of Broccoli. It'd be nice against these quads. I really hope there's not a rebel in there. I could have capped the oil a while ago. I think he just wants to deny the oil caps. Yeah. He could go for the the worker crushes, but leaving him there will probably do more damage in the long run, because this, this replica here will get denied as well. Scorpions getting popped out, there are about five of them. Uh, half dozen RPGs inside the garrison as well. Make that... Yeah, that's actually pretty accurate. I do not rescind my RPG count. Rescind? Yeah. That's weird. 
stays where it is. We'll see if I was right when this uh, garrison actually evacs. It's taking a lot of damage here. Uh, oh, machinery. Sorry. I wanted to see. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Is he repairing that? He should uh, be repairing. I don't know. So that, that is a strong civilian building. Yeah, it, it, it's more a civilian tower, isn't it? Yeah. Both of our players are going to be building the supply at the north here. Talisman has a quad. It's a Vet 2 quad as well, and a scrapped up quad. Nice to see our players sharing. Wow. These, these guys... Not too concerned about the battle happening in their surroundings. Okay, we have scorpions. Yeah, with rockets machine. Scorpions greater than quads. As long as he tunnel micros this, which... He's, he's not really doing. Okay, there uh, we go. There he is, a tunnel micro. Nice. Good stuff. Solid plays. From Broccoli. His income's pretty good. I'd say he must be floating. Surely he's floating, yeah. He must have a lot of income. Broccoli. Broccoli. Well, actually, not really. Not. Where's no, his arms he's dealer? spending it. I mean, the arm stealer is... It must have... Right, so there's a barracks on the other side. That's probably where the production's going, but... Yeah. The quads are actually repairing out in the open because of that garage. Or whatever it's called, the tech repair bay or something stupid. Tech repair bay. Ah, nailed it. Nailed it on the head machine, yeah. A lot of terrorists, yeah, there's five of them. Four of them. Yeah. That, um... Should be enough, because he's demo, so that'll be enough. Yeah, but not really good work conditions. They normally they have a, a technical to take them with them. But to, uh, there we go. To, to drive them from location to location. Can't even afford to hire an Uber, clearly. He's been carrying their wallets on them at the time. Maybe there was a too high of a surcharge for the Uber. Ah, given, that's fair, yeah. Time. That, that could be right, yeah. It's just like, yeah, it's on like <laughs> eight times or something. <laughs> The water does look like jelly, doesn't it? It's wobbling like jelly. <laughs> wow. This is this is the funny yeah. thing about having people in the chat is they point out all these funny things that we just never notice. Yeah, I yeah. don't really notice. Or, or, or little little humorous anecdotes such as uh, what was it again? A a scrap a day keeps the overlords away. Yeah, a scrap a day keeps the overlords away. Yeah. A great mansion to live by if you're a, you're a fan of building marauders. So Broccoli is actually looking good now. But I say that, but then Talisman decides to mix in some scorpions. So we'll even things out. Broccoli should still have the better count of of uh, scorpions. They're actually going for a palace. Meanwhile, Broccoli's still denied this oil. Maybe yeah. Talisman doesn't actually realize it. Does he have a radar van? Mm. Nope, don't see yeah, one. That's strange. Maybe he didn't realize it. That he uh, actually lost his rebel there. Yeah, certainly a possibility. You kind of send an oil, uh, a rebel up and try and cap and then... You assume it's capped. But it's actually been gunned down by a sentry drone. Yeah. yeah. Well, in this case, a technical. So there's the palace completing. Uh, Talisman has scouted it uh, with that technical. So where the, where the palace is up, that tech's going to be starting, which means he has to Ooh. make a call now or start a palace or do something. Okay, he's putting his RPGs in there. Oh, terror attacking. Oh, this could be very powerful here. But where's he actually going? He doesn't get the kill. I No, yeah, because the, the, the tunnel actually took down one of the terrorists didn't get the detonation off so that was a bit of a misplay there i don't know if he wanted to go for the palace or not but, but he just didn't order the terrorists in time to blow up yeah. the the supply there was a pretty big delay and in that time the terrorists automatically go for the tunnel because the tunnel is firing at them the terrorists then they want to return fire so broccoli if he or rather talisman i mean if talisman just clicked on the supply, you know, much quicker, he would have actually got the, yeah. the kill off there on the supply. I'd, I'd say it was just the indecision of do I go for the palace here instead? I'd be back pretty close yeah. to it. The, the initial choice was clearly the supply, but yeah, just a little bit of indecision will cost him. Do you know if it takes four terrorists for a unbarricaded palace as well? Uh, I think four terrorists the down to the hole, five terror. Oh, demo, right. Um, Probably the same health. Talisman can take out the supply here as well. No, he actually needs five. I, I forget he's... the changes in 1.6 to like 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 um, specialist buildings had their their health change. Like in particular the strat center and the the propaganda center. But I'm not sure whether the palace did or didn't. I can't remember. I don't think the palace did yeah. because it has the barricades. It's so strong. Yeah. Yeah. I won't I take this out. I don't see any reason out. that it should have been, but it's just yeah. 
Cal's not actually finding pretty good engagement here. Oh, I take it back. The, the, the rockets come back up. And uh, all of a sudden, all these quads are going to be slowed down. Wow, yeah, that was that, that really turned quickly. A lot of scrap on the ground here. He's going to get it as well. Oh, he's getting all the scrap. I love it. Oh, machine. He, he's not making the same mistake that Broccoli made in his earlier game as, as with the Marauders. And now he actually pops out. Not the best choice here, losing even more of these infantry battle units. But actually, he comes the Battle Bus to clean up the Scorpions. Nice. Good stuff from Talisman. Beautiful from Luckily. Good, good adaption. Uh, picking up those those scrap that time. Uh, and, uh, scrapping up, getting double rockets on the scorpions. Could make it work in the end. But... Yeah, that was really nice there. Now Broccoli's lost his army. He he's he's on three supplies though. This this game is is just so hard to say who's ahead. And, and remember, there is the old Derek here as well. Talos not having his. This is going to be a oh, just a, a worker crush. Yeah, I think. I think the uh, the technical's got a bit. The technical got a bit bored, but it's going to cost him his life. Oh, I think it's one of them. Yeah, should have been. Should have sat on the oil. The oil was fine. That was a that was worthwhile. Or even if he just parked here and then just gunned down the workers without actually driving into the tunnels there. Maybe he wasn't watching it. Just gave the order and then uh, backed away. So <laughs> look, Talisman has the supply now in the corner. So all these supplies, they are being mined. It's a very odd looking map machine. Yeah. No, you generally see. This main supply is running out soon, but there actually is the crates here as well. So I believe this supply has more cash than this supply because you have the old Derek as yeah. well. So it's a nice little asymmetry in terms of, uh, of the resource layout. Battle Bus is going to be moving in. It's actually... There's a garrison here. There isn't the the strong tower though, so the battle bus may be able to get some work done. Talisman doesn't have his barricades up, Rage. You definitely get that. Should do, yeah. I'm not sure if that palace is full of RPGs or not either. It's certainly something else that we should see. Talisman checks out the oil, finds out. Still haven't to capped his it. Complete shock that he hasn't capped it with a rebel. Uh, Whoa, that's sneaky. Look at this. It's a rebel from uh, Talisman going to be revealing. He snuck through. I think he snuck through the tunnel networks. It's behind the... Behind the... Uh, ah! Sneaky. But it's Broccoli's. Wait! Ah! Oh. How can he... How can he it stealth? It looked orange. No, it looked orange. It has, I thought... He's I behind thought, the tree. I thought one of Talisman's rebels like, somehow managed to sneak through into here and hide behind the tree because it looked orange because of the right. effect from the, the sun and the tree, but no, it's actually Broccoli's. I mean, rebels. Talisman is, is demo, so he can't have no, he stealth, got stealth I mean, I thought like the rebel was there the whole time and we missed it or something. Like, he was... Yeah. Okay, here are Jarman down the south. Yeah, Battle Bus goes down. Uh, takes two scorpions out with him. And a double scrap scorpion sniped by the Jarman here. Yeah, that, that's really important there. Let's see who can actually recruit it. Broccoli can, however, get his stealth rebels because he's GLA vanilla, so he actually has access to the stealth upgrade. What else does he have? He has the sneak attack, which I don't believe... Oh, no, sorry. Um, not sneak attack. The, the GPS scrambler. The, the demo won't get GPS scrambler, but the vanilla will. And then you even get camo net on your your tunnels. Maybe Talisman will actually just focus down the Scorpion if you can't recap it. Okay, he's pushing up the base. Whoa, there's a pop though. Okay. Maybe he's gonna evac and hopefully find a, a Scorpion on the way out here. Yeah, not quite. Almost got one. That's one thing to bear in mind here. Talisman's actually ran out of his cash. Uh, yeah, Talisman has the bad trade here because because Broccoli has this supply, which is a proper dock, where where th these are only the little crates. Yeah. So so Talisman's actually only, and this is this is exhausted as well. So Broccoli's actually looking in a really good spot He's gonna right win, now. Dude. Yeah, Broccoli is gonna win. There is the Jarman though for Talisman, but I feel like. There's just too many tunnels here yeah. for Broccoli. He's just kind of turtled himself in very well. And given that he has the economy lead, uh, he's doing fine. But we're normally, you know, if you're turtling, you, you fall behind on, on cash. But it's actually not the case at all. Talisman <laughs> finally looking to get this old Derek. Rebel going to be free from any scumbag technical. 
And we have the most hype song playing of all of the Zero Hour playlists. This is like the ultimate hype. Zero Hour. Oh, Tomahawk! Oh, Tomahawk! Oh, no, what? Not even a Tomahawk! Oh, wait, a Scud uh, Launcher. Scud Launcher, right, yeah. I saw the missile and I thought the same thing that you did. I'm like, yeah. oh, it's a Tomahawk. I, I don't like, know, right, yeah. we're on a GLA mirror. Why do they be yeah. Tomahawks? I, we but... just default on a Tomahawks, but yeah. Uh, no, Scud Launcher <laughs> indeed, Machine. That's, That's beautiful. fantastic. Scud Launchers are great against Rocket Buggies. That's a fantastic choice from Talisman, but... It's so rare we see them because I, I think they require a general's promotion. They do indeed, yeah. and, but But 1.6, it means... You, they, they, they reworked the general's promotion, the, the, the system, so you actually have more points to put towards those, those low-tier... Yeah, there are, there are point values relative to the strength of whatever you happen to be yeah. investing the points into. So like, if I want to uh, expect a gunship, it's going to cost more than if I just want like a Pathfinder. If I want Pathfinders, which are already going to be one point. I mean, I don't know about Pathfinders, so. but, but but certainly like a. Uh, 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 yeah, are Pathfinders still only one, or are they, oh, I don't know. I thought they were, but yeah, just lower tier things or, or like or the Scud Storm, the Nuke Cannon, yeah, yeah. yeah, things things that are, are cheaper. So uh, technical bet. Or, because because um, yeah. it meant that the the general's powers were far too predictable. There were just some which were objectively better in. And some that were just never worth building. Broccoli, not having the best buggy micro here, but at least you will keep two of them alive. Alright, what is he firing at? Oh, he's firing at the mm. supply. The damage there is pretty bad, actually. It, that's similar to new cannons where their single target DPS versus buildings is very low. Yeah. They're, they're more AoE. Yeah. Where that, that's where buggies and um, Inferno cannons are more powerful. Another great counter to buggies here. Yeah. Vanilla Rebel Ambush. But the supply will go down. Actually, this is a demo Demo Rebel Ambush. ambush. Right, yeah, no, it is. He hasn't... They were using their weapon, so I assumed it was a wow. vanilla. I assumed it was a vanilla. That. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised. But it, this could actually be more effective. Look at this. Look, yeah. The rebels are still alive and they're wow. fighting more buggies. Okay. Everyone's been using Devil Rebel Ambushes wrong for years. You, you don't this how you do up. it. You use the, use the guns to gun down buggies. It's, show us how it's done, Broccoli. Talisman, show us how to cap an oil. I want to know. Okay, I let's wanna see. I want to know. <laughs> Is that an actual song? Yeah. Okay. I want to know if he's thinking of me. Yeah, this is song, yeah. Oh, these buggies getting caught. Yeah, catch you later. Scorpion Rockets doing their job, and Talisman now has income. Yay for Talisman. Yay for Black Markets. Oh, that's a good point. Mm. Yeah, three Black Markets. What about Broccoli? He has one, two, three. So three. This game is still looking in the favor of Broccoli, but that being said, Talisman is pushing through the left flank with a pretty decent army of Scorpions with a Scud Launcher for support. It's a Veterancy 2 Scud Launcher. No Junk Repair upgrade either. It doesn't have the the Rocket upgrade, the uh, like the RPG bonus in the Black Market. I just love how... How much of the screen the Scud Missile takes up because of the zoom level? You know, it's right there, you can't notice it. You can't, can't avoid noticing it. Tunnel's getting sniped down. Could be the arm still here as well, Machine. Scud Launcher and HAL Veterans E3. They're, they're great uh, uh, at tunnel denies as well, but it's kind of like when do I pop? If you pop at the wrong time and a scud launcher happens to be firing, you just lose all of the units that are yeah. popping out of the scud that yeah. light of the tunnel network. So you've got to time it correctly, and that's uh, always a dangerous thing. Breaking down these garrisons as well, going to be fantastic. So yeah, maybe maybe Rockley should have capitalized before. He's kind of he's turtled up here. He's gone for a lot of tunnel networks that could have been units, and he could just crush Talisman when Talisman had no income. But oh. We don't see that. It's still only three black markets. I mean, that's not very good. <laughs> Especially against when you have three black markets yourself and two supplies and an oil. These, these workers aren't mining very effectively, but when the supplies are that low, it's not really a big deal. Scorpion hasn't been recapped, and now we have two Scud launches. And I'm so glad we're seeing these. Yeah, it's hype. Yeah, 
They're not great against buildings, but decent against tower networks. They don't really have a lot of health. So it's going to take long for the scum to take those out. Not a great engagement for these scorpions, though, Machine. And uh, Talisman can't really afford to just throw away scorpions. I don't know why he's taking this engagement. There's no reason to. He's got, he's got scum launchers. Like, yeah, sure. especially when you have catch bounty as well. Yeah, I do need to mute my uh, browser. I think my email or something is, is playing on the stream every, every every now and again. But we have the Jarman here for support. Able to take down these workers. And the Scud Launchers are very powerful against infantry as well. Actually, he may lose a Scud Launch. No, just kidding. Jarman exists. Yeah, Jarman has it. He's got everything covered. Oh, he's going for it. No, not quite. The Scorpions for defense. Whoa. Nice work from Talisman using his... His Jarman and his Scorpions to defend his his Scuds. Is it lag? Oh, apparently. I don't know. I mean, I kept saying like, "Hey, if you want to play without lag, then uh, we'll cast replays." Yeah. But they, they always insist it's fine. But will he will he lose the Scud nope. launcher? No. Maybe if, maybe it. if it wasn't Vet Three, because I believe you get more health at Vet Three. Plus the uh, the. The tech repair bay as well factors into that. Yeah, I think there's actually a delay though. Or maybe there's, no, there's not. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. alright, fair enough. Yeah. I was like, delay, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> nah, no delay. You thought like it was gonna be like a damage delay, like a, you took damage, like. You that, can't that's something heal. you put in the, the general sentiment, ah, uh, 1.7, uh, zero mod, so. We have angry mobs, but there's no upgrade here for Talisman. Yeah, where are those AK-47s at? Non-existent for the moment. Okay, Rebel Ambush here. Again, to the, the new meta. He's not, he's not demoing it, yeah. Never Rebel Ambushes against, like, buildings don't really work as well. They, they still would, if you have enough of them. But you the, need a lot, dude. Yeah. yeah. I think you also you spawn less uh, Rebels as well. You do, yeah. Nice. Still pretty powerful, nonetheless. Yeah, they are running their way through these tunnel networks machine. They demolish buildings, angry mobs. I think I think this angry mob is is uh, protesting Black Lives Matter. It's probably what they're. Uh, Really? They're arguing. <laughs> oh, did you hear about the Charlotte riots? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Here goes the arms dealer. And Broccoli is slowly losing his base, isn't he? 5,000 cash. Maybe it's, it's, to go down. it's worth getting uh, Scudstorm just to force Talisman to be too aggressive. Talisman hasn't really invested in more black markets. It doesn't look like it. He's kind of happy with the production he has at the moment. And that's a good point, actually, that someone mentioned in the chat. Is, is where is Broccoli's jam? He doesn't have one. Mm, not that I've seen. Yeah, you're right. Which is weird. Skull Launch is doing work. Angry Mobs are here. They're just waiting for the Anthrax to clear out. Freshly armed with AK 47s. Yeah, Much better. They're happy. Considerably angrier than they were previously. Well, actually, wouldn't yeah. they be less angry? Yeah, actually, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't the AK nerf their damage? Because now that they're happy, they have AKs. They're content. Maybe. They're satisfied. Yeah. They have less reason to riot. Where previously, they, okay. would, they would be. Uh, yeah. Contented mobs. Yeah, they, they would, they, yeah, the contented mobs. Yeah, yeah, they, they would be even more furious that they, they're ill-equipped yeah. for the task. Yeah. So much damage, though. We need to see a Jarman. We need to see maybe a Toxin Tractor. Actually, uh, Broccoli is vanilla, vanilla GLA. So, so he can get the Scud Launcher with the Toxin shells, the Toxin rockets. That's very, very powerful against the angry mobs. We're obviously... Talisman can only get the demo Scud Rockets, because he's demo. Wow, he may lose this game to just angry mobs. Yeah, it's possible. Apparently no counter out of the field, like we don't see a Toxin Tractor or anything. There we go. 
both of our players now having the scuds. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Four black markets and uh, a scud. I mean, still not really enough. You definitely would see more than this black markets in a higher tier yeah. game. Double scud machine. Double scud. That's the dream. <laughs> oh! oh! Yeah, angry mobs, for those who aren't really aware with Zero Hour, angry mobs are a very, very powerful unit. However, they're countered very, very hard by, by the counters. And that, that's flame tanks, it's flashbangs, it's, it's basically any AoE attack. As you can see here, the moment Broccoli got a Scud launcher with the Toxin Shells, he was just annihilating those, those mobs. So that was a really nice response to see. <laughs> right, so whose Jarman is this? This is Talisman's Talisman. Jarman. Right, cool. Yeah, I didn't see the... There's no icon yeah. on the minimap, but it's definitely yeah. Talisman. He yeah. has the little the orange cloak, and I don't think Broccoli has had a Jarman the entire game. Even if he just leaves the Jarman for a possible counter snipe, uh, it's still worth it. And then so the Toxin l lasts for a while, so it can be used as an area deny for the angry mobs. Okay, buggies are gonna be here. Let's see where the Scud launcher lands. Oh man, it's gonna only take out one buggy. Wasn't too bad. Two buggies down. Scud needs to fire from Broccoli. Here comes the angry bubbles. Where's the where's the tunnel pot? Where's that Scud launcher at? Needs to do something, machine. Yeah, even just a Jarman would be enough. He sells the arm stealer. Wow. Okay, maybe a little bit early there. Broccoli, yeah, he's getting pushed back here, but he will have a Scud Storm. He's fishing up any second. What's this guy doing? He's being angry. He's being angry over angry there. Angry Man is the new unit. It's like Angry Mob, but yeah. much, much less effective. <laughs> angry Man. Angry Man, yeah. There you go. Tunnel network, it goes down. <laughs> what, would cost you 50? I'd really just like to see my more diversity in the Angry Mob. Like, is there any about this? There's, there's three different models, I think, in the Angry Mob? Or is it four? There's uh, four, four different models in an Angry Mob. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's guy with green t shirt, <laughs> a white guy, guy in in brown. And, like, and, woman. and woman. Token yeah, female. Token female, yeah, exactly. So. bit misleading you, you look at their portrait actually you can't see the portrait because of the webcam but not quite r matching there, there's no guy with a green shirt yeah where's the guy portrait? with green shirt in the picture he's my favorite he clearly missed out maybe he's taking the photo <laughs> <laughs> oh that makes sense <laughs> which one's I was your favorite thinking about it ah uh, no i like guy in green shirt yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, big fan yeah <laughs> the guy who's taking the photo the, the cameraman that was green shirt so big fan jarman likes them all equally yeah, yeah. Stuff. Jarman gets a bit of cash bounty for himself. Uh, broccoli turtling up in true GLA fashion. Protect the Scud Storms is the game he is playing. Talisman looks like he's putting up some more angry mobs. Another Scud Storm. Uh oh. Talisman has to close this game out. There's no supplies left. Uh, yeah, apart from that, actually, there's. Yeah. There's, there's 2,500, oh, and this as well. Might be worth long distance mining. You can sell off um, one supply, but there's actually, there's only one supply, so you want to keep that. Because you, you need the supply to build an arms dealer. So you don't want to sell all your your supplies. Okay, here we go, big attack, Anthrax Bomb leading the charge. Scud Launcher was sniped down. Gotta be careful, he doesn't actually Anthrax his own Scorpions and his own Angry Mobs especially. Looks like he's going to avoid a machine, actually playing quite well. Yeah, avoids the Anthrax, they're going to be on all of the, uh, all of the tunnel networks, however, for earning any pops. Scorpion's getting pretty much free reign here. Oh, the Scuds are too close. They're trying to evac, but it's so hard for them to turn around and get back inside the tunnel. They do manage it, though, at least one of them does. Uh, second is going to be sniped down. Okay, a lot of other tunnels to pop from. Let's see if the Scorpions don't dodge this in time. This could be very devastating here. Whoa. It's going to hit. Wow, Perfect. all the scorpions go down. Perfect. He actually revels ambushes here. 
He still doesn't demo, but uh, I think that's going to be enough for Broccoli to hold on. Seems to be. I, I don't. I just think there's a way for an army replacement. Oh, there goes the Jarman. Yeah. It's only, and a Scorpion as well. That's, that's probably talisman. worth. Talisman doesn't have a lot of units here. He's going to lose the Scorpion as well, probably. He can't repair through this one. Should just go down. There we go. That would be the vet to self repair as well. Actually, did he have junk repair? No, he doesn't. If he had the junk repair or the scrap repair, I think it's junk repair, he would actually perhaps be able to, to out repair through that. Was close. More units being rallied for. What does Talisman have on the left? Are they just going to turn all networks and such? So there's an arm still there as a supply. But maybe building up another black market could be an option here as well. But Scud Storm's on the way. Dangerous. Dangerous territory. Could just invest in units and try and snipe down the Scud Storm. Gotta make a decision. That's the two minute one, yeah. Actually, Talisman can't build any saboteurs because he's GLA demo. So he can't go for the, the saboteur bike. Which we are so fond of. Angry Mob is in a really good spot. Broccoli has 7,000 cash. He's not spending it. He has uh, a few arms dealers. Oh man. Broccoli, he has everything he needs. He's just not macroing properly. And I still don't think there's a Jarman either. He goes for the tunnels. Okay, Scotland is going to fire. He might be able to hold this one. Putting Scud, they, they take a while to build, and Angry Mobs, Broccoli should just be spamming out Barracks. Two, three, four, five, and just get a whole bunch of Angry Mobs. Ah, oh, yeah. in the arms are going to be going down here, though. The Toxic can take out their Scorpion. No, he's repairing yeah. through Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's actually repairing through that. Oh, man, Broccoli's getting flustered. He's just not macroing properly. His Scud Launcher is getting pretty close to firing, but I think it may go down. Even more Scorpions pushing in. 1 minute 15 on the Scud Storm Machine, but Angry Bobbles will clear it up incredibly quickly. As long as they don't walk into Anthrax. Yeah, look at this. They have to avoid it. These guys, they have the right idea, but these ones don't. But that damage is just so powerful. And the Scud Storm, it will go down. Oh, man. Good job, Angry Bob. Fantastic work. And uh, Broccoli looks like he's actually out of this game, and he's going to lose the series. Ah, uh, Broccoli, he just couldn't macro, and he certainly isn't the first player we've seen to uh, let their macro slip up. Considering Zero Hour is a game predominantly of micro, often of having good macro is underlooked, which it normally isn't very hard, but when you hit the late game situation where you do have a lot of cash coming in from the black markets, that's when the macro does actually get quite tough, and Talisman just spamming angry mobs. Broccoli, uh, he just didn't have a Jarman as well. The Jarman would have made such a difference against the angry yeah, mobs. for sure. There's no reason not to have one. It's not even expensive. The Jarman yeah. costs 1,500. Okay, we have angry mobs. Efficiency. Yeah, okay. That's a thing. And this scud launch is actually not far off either. Only 2 minutes 30. There's still 4 black markets here for Broccoli. And there's only yeah. 5 Look for, at this for black Talisman. Look market placement for Talisman without oh, barricades. Wow. Without barricades. There could be 4 black markets down with 1 scud storm. 100%. Yeah, you're right. This is actually crazy. This, this black market pr uh, concentration is a little bit dangerous against these scuds. We have, uh, we have the quads. Jarman can actually snipe one of them down. Angry mobs, they're too angry to recruit vehicles. Mm. You, you need a, a content mob. They, they can recruit quads. Yeah. You need a calm head behind the wheel, ladies and gentlemen. Don't, don't drive mad. Don't drive angry. Whoa! <laughs> that damage is so crazy. Quads aren't really that good, though. No. You, you need to have they're, multiple they're quads. Okay. Multiple quads are okay. They're, they're not ideal. There are better choices. And you can't keep these black markets alive. He has the Scud. Two Scuds as well, so... Wasn't really quick enough to get the shots off. Yeah, another black market's still gonna go down in the meantime, though. Angry mobs are not to be stopped. Oh, and the scards, what are they doing? They're trying to 1v1 the angry mobs in a, in a close quarters combat. It's not where they belong. There's only, there's only four or five models here, but still, it's enough. It's two squads of angry mobs as well, machine. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. 
So hard to actually take down an angry mob. Yeah, close, but... Scorpions with rocket enough. much yeah. better than a quad. Yeah, especially if yeah, you sure. are yeah. GLA vanilla and you have the toxin upgrade and you're gonna have to have the toxin shells. Uh, and because then the scorpions are quite durable. Is that a Jarman from Broccoli? It's finally! Hey! Hare Krishna, we finally have a Jarman from Broccoli and that may be enough uh, to actually hold this one, but perhaps not. Go Jarman, go! Snipe! He's worried about getting You don't have to worry out. about AK-47s, bro. You're Jarman. Yeah, just don't worry. It's fine. Yeah, here we go. Okay, Scar's gonna be firing any moment now. Uh, 40 seconds. Jarman, no, 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 just Jarman, no, 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 Jarman. No, no, no. Oh, Jarman. Yeah, okay, there. there we go. Yeah, okay, That's, he's nice. found it. Yeah. Maybe he was zoomed in too much. Okay, Jarman counter snipe though. Talisman will get this no! one. There we go. Counter snipe comes through, and that's going to be the Scud going down. Oh, don't deny it. Twenty oh, seconds no. left, unless we have a clutch that's Scud soul launcher. That's crushing. That is soul crushing machine. But we actually was that a sneak attack in the base of Broccoli of Talisman here, and he actually went for a, a rebel ambush, but I think it was taken out. And that's going to be the Scud launcher down. Oh, that's soul crushing. Talisman may lose his base here. What is that? What? Oh, the angle of that. Yeah, that's an Anthrax, Anthrax bomb to clear in. this one up. And there it is. Broccoli is annihilated. Yeah. Oh, man. Broccoli. It breaks my heart because he had this game in the bag. He just didn't macro yeah. properly. He didn't build a Jarman. GG. Fantastic GG. turnaround here from Talisman. Yeah. Nice try. Very broccoli. well played. Someone spamming me on, on Steam is probably Talisman. Well played. And this is live though, so maybe not. I know like with the Company of Heroes Spectate, it's always like 30 seconds or a minute behind. GG! Gee. Wow! That was a very close game and a long you one at defeated. that. But it was interesting because it wasn't two pros. So like two pros in a GLA mirror, it's just buggy, 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 buggy. Yeah. But this was just the nonsense and tomfoolery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left, right and center. Uh, who was it? Broccoli. Talisman. Yeah, well, that was that was a great game, uh, and that of course means that Broccoli is the loser of this tournament, which means he has the honor of playing against our man Archon Hawk. Ooh, and I'm glad because I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat something. How hungry are you, bro? I'm um, I'm pretty hungry. All right.